What's up, everyone? Brandon JW23 back again for another video, and this is actually not a review video. Um, here's why. Now, my last video, I did a PlayStation Vita review. I forgot to actually give this a score, and the score of it would be actually a five out of five. Technically, four point five out of five. Why? Because it don't actually have a very long battery life, like the two thousand series have. That's beside the point. Here's the thing that most people don't actually understand about the PlayStation port, uh, PlayStation Vita. The PlayStation Vita, it actually is a good little handheld console, way better than the 3DS. A little bit like the original 3DS. Difference is between this and also 3DS and also the predecessor of the PlayStation Portable and also PlayStation Portable Go is you, you know, PlayStation got it now back to cards, not the um, not the UMDs that had on the PlayStation on the original PlayStation Portable and the PlayStation Portable Slim. So that's the difference. So it's kind of doing a copy of a 3DS mixed with the new Switch a little bit. Um, not I'm not licking the freaking top of the a bloody card. I, I don't know how in the hell that even start happening anyway, but that's beside the point. Um, so that's that. Now, why did PlayStation discontinue the uh, Vita in America, but not in like Japan? Because this is actually, the Vita is actually more popular, popular in the Japan market than it is in the American market. Because American market, we more console, home console steady and phone using steady over a handheld. Now, back in the day, um, back in the day when handhelds came out, it was actually popping, it was actually good, like the original Game Boy and the Game Gear. That was back in the day. Everybody in the freaking mamas was playing the Game Boy and the Game Gear. If you don't have a Game Boy, you have a Game Gear. If you don't have a Game Gear, you have a Game Boy. Same thing with the Game Boy Pocket, the Nintendo mini version predecessor better than the original Game Boy and also way better than the Game Gear because the Game Gear you gotta have six freaking batteries to freaking use. Either six or four. That's a lot of fucking batteries you gotta use. Versus on the no six. Because the original Game Boy you gotta have you have four to power that shit on. Once again, a lot of freaking batteries. On the Game Boy Pocket on the original Game Boy Pocket you'll have two and there's two triple A batteries. But like I said, that's besides the point, and I'm just, you know, sitting up the stage and, so much and saying why the handheld market for Vitas and also Nintendos kind of went down here a little bit, mainly for the Vita. Now, for the Vita market shares for it, uh, the commercial, it didn't push it out clearly, like at all. It, it didn't push it out. I don't know why Sony didn't push it out, but it it, it didn't push it out. Um, now, I'm still saying the 1000 or 2000 uh, version, if you have a Vita. If not, go out to your local game stores, mom and pop game stores, whatever. Pick yourself a Vita. Doesn't matter which one you have. Doesn't matter if it's the uh, 1000 or the 2000 series. Or the Slim, in other words. The only difference between be the Slim and the original series is just the gray part right here and a thinner design. Way thinner than this, like this much off, t you know, this much off the top. If you can see, if you can see my finger, this much off the top. So that's not bad. Now back to the history of why this is actually a a, a failure in America, but not in Japan. Because see, in Japan, they were doing a lot of commercial for it, and it's beautiful, totally good. And now in America. It's still good, but at the same exact time, it's bad because nobody, like I said once before, nobody actually a handheld console no more. We are more a home console, home PC type of thing now. If so if you, if a game's not out on PC or Steam or PlayStation or Xbox or any other home console, we don't give two shits about, and that's true and understandable. Now, some stuff like the Nintendo 3DS, the 3DS XL, the 3DS XL Galaxy for special editions, the 3DS, uh, new 3DS, new 3DS XL, we give a shit about it because Nintendo and Nintendo got some dope ass games. 
Well, guess what? Sony, PlayStation Vita, got some dope-ass games, too. Here's why. The game I just got done showing you a little bit earlier, Persona 4 Golden, dope-ass game. Uh, Street, not, not Street Fighter, what the hell, what the fuck, what the fuck. I think it is Street Fighter for Vita. I don't know for sure. But, uh, Dead Alive 5, last round. Well, actually, it's Dead Alive 5 Ultimate Plus. It's on the Vita. So, there you go. It's compatible for your PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3. So, you can play it, you can play your games through your Vita. Uh, a mirror mode, just like the, like, just like the PC version, if you have your, place, uh, your X, blah, your Windows or Mac or Apple computer, that's linked up through a PlayStation 4 software uh, uh, video um, software image. I did a video about that some of my time ago, so go back some go back and, and actually watch that if you don't know what I mean. Um, you can use that as a secondary remote control. Um, since it's been discontinued in America, a lot of stuff has actually been on sale, like the memory cost for it. And I told you in my last video that the memory cost for this. Oh my god, it's expensive as shit. So you find a memory card that's actually very, very cheap and very, very reasonable. Snag that shit quick. Doesn't matter. Snag it quick. Because once it's, once you see it and wait a week, come back, it will be gone. Sometime. Sometimes be gone. Sometime. Um, no, it do not take a original a micro SD card or a original SD card that you put on your, on your PS Portable. So, just give me a heads up if you want to buy it too. Um, dope games, like I said. Like, uh, like I already called out two of the dope games. And some more dope games for it. Uh, even got PlayStation 4 titles. It's actually compatible for your PlayStation Vita. Like the um, Uncharted Drake something, I forget what it was. That is actually compatible for your uh, PlayStation Vita. I uh, got an own Vita game title also. Um, some anime games like, um, I'm trying to think of one that's actually good besides Persona 4, um, Sword Online, that's, like I said, that's the only thing I can think about at the moment right now. Sword Online, um, Lost Songs, that's a PS4 and a Vito title, so there you go. Also, also, I want to throw that in here, Region Free. What do you mean by region free, Brandon? This is what I mean by region free. You get a Japanese title game, import that bitch to America thanks to Amazon or any other imported product you want to bloody get. Import that bitch. Take that son of a bitch ass card. Open this shit up. Take out your American shit. Slap that shit in. And you can play it on your Vita without having any type of region lock shit on your Vita. Unlike the PlayStation 3, I think the 4, and backwards, because you have region locks on, I know on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, you have region lock, and I think 3, you have region lock. I don't know about the 4. I don't know if the 4 got on region lock. I don't know for sure. But boom, there you go. And also, also turn back around, you do not have to set up a different account to play a Japanese game. That's the beauty of everything. You don't have to set up a second account like the Nintendo Switch. Now, Nintendo Switch, it also is region free. Here's a catch. You got to make up a second account and link that account with your Nintendo Switch in America. And I mean, that's, that's totally a whole nother topic for a whole nother video for a whole nother time. And you go and check that out on some other else's channel. Or wait till like the summer or something like that. Then I get my own hands on my own Switch. So, yeah, like I said, the beauty of it, region free. Don't know about the Vita, and I don't know about the uh, PlayStation Portable. I don't think that's region free. I don't know. But this is region free. 1,000, 2,000 series, so that's cool. Um, 1,000 series has some, uh, has some unique colors, but it's only in Japan, and the other color is actually like white, I think it is, and I think a blue-ish color, I think, for the 1,000 series. But mainly just uh, mainly just just black. I'm not 100% sure about that. But on the 2000 series, I am sure it's multiple colors for a PlayStation Vita. But it's only for only for uh, uh, um, Japan and 2000 series only. 
Uh, you got the blue, red, yellow, green, neon colors, um, some other random colors also for the 2000 series of the PlayStation Vita, also known as PlayStation Vita Slim. Um, so yeah, that's dope on that part. So, in 2017, this game, this console came out, what, a couple of years ago? 2014, 2015, I think it is. It didn't have a very long life cycle, just like the Dreamcast. It didn't actually have a very long life cycle. <clears throat> wow, excuse me. Like the Dreamcast. Um, this, this is not a actually a commercial fail product. Um... The Steam for the uh, Porta Vita, that's that the hype for it had died. But apparently, some people are still making videos about this, doing gameplays about this, um, doing game videos about the Vitas. And I'm not gonna lie, I like the Vita way more than the 3DS because the the Vita, like I said, it got it got some dope ass games, it got some cool games in there. But it seems like time. It's lacking in certain departments, only 1,000, but that's a whole nother series, a whole nother video for a whole nother time. Uh, and I'll talk more about the about that in my review. But like I said before, the PlayStation Vita is a good product. It's a good game. It's a good handheld game console. And people who 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 got one, who you know still have it and don't play with it a lot. I know it's going to be kind of difficult, but hey, get back into it because it's really dope. And I mean, it's good on road trips and stuff like that. Especially if you have an internet connection, you can link up from here to whatever at home to your PS4 or PS3. But like I said, games are still coming out for it. Part of the item stuff for it, like a case for it, a screen protector. I think you can get, I think you can still buy screen protectors on your, on your readers. I don't know for sure. Mine already came pre-installed onto it anyway when I, when I first bought it, so it's pretty pointless of taking the screen protector off on both sides, as you can see. Yeah, right? Yeah, like there. Like I said, it's pretty cool. Like I said, get back into it. I mean, 2017, in late 16, people was getting the Beatles. The Beatles wasn't like an unknown, like, what the fuck's going on series, but whatever. But hey, it's here. A lot of people doing the Beatles. A lot of people get back into the Beatles, and a lot of people still getting games for the Beatles. You need to get it. Get a Vita. Get it, play it, love it, enjoy it, because you will have a hell of a good time on your Vita. Doesn't matter if you're an RPG player, action adventure player, a tap screen player, because this is touchscreen on both sides, really. Um, whatever your genre is. Get yourself a Vita, cause you will love it to death. That's been this been a video about it. So there you go. It's this been Brandon JW23. Comment, like, su subscribe, share with your friends, tell me what you think, and I'll see y'all in the next one. See ya.